So today we're gonna to talk about a very interesting topic, trading versus software engineering. Now this is a question I asked myself while I was in undergrad back in like 2016. Which, which path did I wanna take? Did I wanna become a trader or a software engineer? And I ultimately chose to become a trader. So why would you wanna to listen to me? Well, in 2018, I actually graduated with a degree in economics. Then I went on to work as a mortgage-backed securities trader for two years. Then um, I went back to school to get my master's degree in computer science, and now I'm working as a software engineer. So I got a great perspective on both of these fields, and I'm hoping to share that with you. So let's just jump right into it. So the first thing I want to look at is salary. This is a very interesting topic because on average, computer scientists slash programmers make more on average than traders. But a caveat on that. In my personal experience and what I've seen in the market, the top 25% of traders make way more than the top 25% of software engineers. Now this is because as a trader, you make a lot of money based on your bonuses. And when you are trading 10, 20, 30 million, you get a lot in bonuses compared to a software engineer who's even working at FANG, right? So I've seen traders who have made 500, 600, 700,000 just in bonuses alone, right? Um, and combine that with that 300,000 in base and you'll see them making over a million in total compensation very easily. Whereas in software engineering, you really have to be at the top of the game in order to make that type of money. So. What I'd say is on average, a software engineer makes more money than a trader. However, the top earners in software engineering make way more, less money than the top earners who are trading. So the winner of this of salary, I'll put as software engineers because on average, you make more money and we're gonna play with averages over here. The next point I wanted to talk about is education. Now, in order to become a trader, you must almost it's a universal rule that you must at least have a bachelor's degree if not a master's degree and this bachelor's or master's degree really has to come from a prestigious university or school and the reason for that is because people are going to be giving you millions of dollars to trade on their behalf and they need some type of credibility so school is one way to get that type of credibility so as a trader you almost always have to have formal education on the flip side as a software engineer you don't need to have formal education. I've met a bunch of software engineers who are self-taught and they're making as much, if not more money than the people who went to get a formal bachelor's degree or master's degree in computer science. And the reason why is because computer science is about building. It's about creating products that work. So even if you have a bachelor's degree, it doesn't mean you're gonna be able to create much better products than a person who doesn't have a degree. It's all about who can create the best products, the most reliable products. So the other thing about software engineering is the technical interviews. Now, you don't need formal education to be good at technical interviews. In fact, formal education might be at a detriment because you'll be spending so much time doing theoretical proofs, a computer science class, instead of practicing lead code problems, right? Which is what the recruiters and companies are actually going to be looking at. Your ability to solve problems on the fly. And that's a kind of a great equalizer in a sense because it allows people who do not go to school to actually um, break into the field of software engineering much more easily than they would in any other field. So for this one, in terms of education, you will need a bachelor's degree or more in, uh, to become a trader, whereas you don't really need any formal education to become a software engineer. So the next point I wanna talk about is career opportunity. So it is much more difficult to become a trader than it is to become a software engineer. Again, it comes down to the fact that to become a trader, you need formal education, preferably from a very, very respective and prestigious school in order for you to land one of these coveted roles. However, this is the other thing. So there are only a few trading jobs. And as a result, you have high demand of people who want to become trader, yet you only have a few jobs, so it makes it more difficult to become a trader. One of the ways to differentiate yourself is by getting that prestigious formal education. You know, when you come from a University of Pennsylvania or a Harvard, it kind of boosts your application in order to become a trader. However, this is also the other thing about being a trader. Lots of traders actually have STEM degrees. So they come from a variety of different backgrounds, so you have that consistent competition Petition, um, to become a trader. As for software engineering, there's a bunch of jobs out there. There's always people hiring software engineers. So whenever you do graduate from college with your computer science degree or 
if you do go to a boot camp or something along those lines, it's much easier for you to become a software engineer as there are plenty of opportunities. Now, yeah, of course, Amazon and Google and all of them have a finite amount of opportunities, but if you don't even look at those companies, you just look at the, the for instance, banks, Banks are hiring a bunch of software engineers and they're looking for more software engineers to hire. So in terms of career opportunities, you have way more career opportunities becoming a software engineer than you do becoming a trader. The next point I wanna talk about is difficulty, which is harder. Now, in my personal opinion, computer science slash software engineering is much harder than trading. And the reason being is that there's so many things in software engineering they just need to pick up to become a software engineer. Besides the fact that you have to pick up a programming language, such as JavaScript or Java or Python, you also have to pick up their individual libraries. You have to understand a lot of the things that come in with this language. So there's always this learning that has to be done as a software engineer, which is kind of difficult because today you may be coding in Java, but tomorrow your boss says, hey, look, we're changing our code base. So we need you now to learn with JavaScript or something along those lines. And as a software engineer, you're always picking up new skills and it's a thing not to mention just the work in general is much more difficult so whenever something breaks in a database or in your code base then you have to go and fix it there's no buts if or maybe if something's broken people will recognize that it's broken also when it comes to optimization there's a lot of things that you need to go and think about as a software engineer when building your application whereas as a trader you don't really have to think about none of those stuff when it comes to trading it's not necessarily difficult it's just more stressful in a sense, because as a trader, you use a lot of your intuition to actually trade. So yes, you understand how markets work, but markets don't always move in the way you expect them to. And you have to kind of anticipate that, which uses a lot of intuition than anything else. So it's not as difficult as being a software engineer, but there's more stress involved in becoming a trader and in trading. And for this last point, I wanna talk about enjoyment, which is more enjoyable. In my opinion, trading is more enjoyable than software engineering. You have to determine whether to long or short a stock, how much stock to, short, to long or short, um, how you're going to hedge your position. There's a lot of more things just involved in trading than there are in software engineering. And that brings a lot of excitement, in my opinion. And not to mention, when you make 200 or $300,000, on a trade. There's no feeling like that. There's no way to replicate that feeling. It's of absolute enjoyment. Now, not to say that being a software engineer is boring because it's not. Again, you're always learning, you're always building, but just in my personal opinion, because of how intricate the markets are and how fun it can be, trading i feel that you will enjoy or at least i enjoy trading much more than i do software engineering anyway so that's my insight on software engineering versus trading i hope that you found some value in it and that you'll be joining me in the next videos i am thinking about releasing one of these every single week so i hope you guys are going to enjoy the segment and i will be seeing you in the next video so let me know what you guys think down below in the comments and also remember to subscribe and like so that i know this is the type of content that you want to be seeing on this channel anyway i'll be seeing you guys in the next video and happy coding slash trading see you